Hello guys, as you remember my name is Natalia and now I'm in Russia in the center of Siberia. So behind you see a famous farm which is located not far from my hometown Krasnoyarsk. I will show you how farmers, Siberian farmers, grow the cattle here, vegetables, different plants and you will see how Siberia lives in general. Enjoy! The farm itself is located, as I said before, and far from the city. It's the 21st kilometer away, and uh, the territory of the farm is pretty spacious. Uh, so, I'm, I'm trying to find the entrance. I have already bought tickets. You can buy them in a very small local shop, grocery shop, and uh, now I see where to go. We have just entered the territory, uh, so I showed my ticket, because you have to buy tickets here to enter. Uh, so, well, let's go. I will show you step by step how this farm is organized, what you can see here, and maybe one day, if you're in Siberia, you can visit it as well. So, the weather today is perfect. You see, it's really hot, around 32 degrees. And it's quite typical for Siberia in July. We have an extremely continental climate. It means that in winter we can have minus, give or take, uh, 30, sometimes even minus 35. While in July, at the end of June, August even, it can reach plus 35, 37, which is extremely hot as well. And for Siberians too. So, enjoy! the territory, enjoy the animals and everything that Siberia offers you. So now I'm going towards the animals. I understood all signs uh, put up not far from the entrance. Well, you see how wonderful all these paths paved. Even they're not paved, they're covered with uh, wooden boards, which is really safe, organic and uh, of course sustainable. Really cool to walk over here. This is our first candidate. You know, what you notice is that all the signs, of course, are in Russian because their uh, target audience is Russian people, locals who live here or uh, visitors of the city. So I will just tell you that in this cage we have just seen uh, pigeons, uh, hens and darks, um, which is quite common for our region to have all of them on the farm on any farm, by the way. Now, I hope we will see something unusual. Hello, hello. We've just seen a lot of sheep, goats. You know, they're so cute. Looks like they're so hungry. 
wanting eating all the time. It was really surprising for me. You know, except for goats, except for sheep, and all these cattle. Uh, here you can see a lot of interesting dogs uh, common for this region. For example, a husky. It's so nice with blue eyes. I will show you now. down the territory uh, you see a lot of Russian trees. Guess what trees I'm talking about? Of course, these are birches. Look over here. These are birches with the white stem, really beautiful small leaves. So you know Russia is famous for its birches. Territory of this farm, there is also uh, a horse riding area where you can train horse riding. I know there are a lot of people who like it as a hobby, so why not try? But not today, but uh, I have to think about that. Beautiful place. You know, this is pretty nice, so a really good place to visit, especially with children. So you can, it's like a contact zoo, you know, trend nowadays, where you can touch animals. Also, at the entrance there is a shop I will show you, where you can buy local produce, which is meat, some honey, berries, everything that can be grown here and is grown here by farmers. And that I suppose it's going to be a really nice visit. We're lucky with the weather. So that was an interesting visit to a really lovely farm. So, but I can truly really understand whether it's just a farm or a recreation area for visitors, because there are a lot of houses, a lot of benches, even different facilities for kids uh, where they can make fun. And at the same time, a lot of animals, but it's not a zoo, it's a farm. Uh, you can buy, as you saw in the video previously, a lot of produce produced here. And that's the point. It's a really great area for spending your time with your nearest and dearest. Mm -hmm. 